Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Jay and in this video I'll be talking to you about monitor response times. Alongside refresh rate, a monitor's response time is one of the most important specifications a display comes equipped with. That's right, whether you're watching movies with fast moving images or playing a highly competitive sports title, your monitor's response time has a huge impact on the viewing experience you receive. Response time in its simplest form is the amount of times it takes for your pixels to change colour, usually using the GTG, which stands for grey to grey, transition, but not always. When purchasing a monitor, you'll likely come across across a number of different response time standards with some manufacturers opting to market an ISO response time which is black to white to black over the more commonly used GTG and for that reason understanding response times can be a little tricky especially if you aren't fully up to speed with display technology. A typical LCD monitor in today's market will offer a response time of anywhere between 1 to 10 ms with lower obviously always being better for gamers. That said a monitor's response time should always be taken with a large large pinch of salt. You have to understand that monitor manufacturers will only tell you the best case scenario with the response time. They'll often run a number of very specific and different tests over a variety of different color transitions using the quickest response time for its marketing. So if a monitor displayed a 25 ms response time going from gray to gray and a 4 ms black to white, then the manufacturer would naturally market it as a 4 ms panel. So you can quickly see how this can become very misleading. So anyway, why do low response times even matter? Playing fast paced games on a monitor that has a slow response time will ultimately lead to screen artifacts known as ghosting. This is when a ghostly trail is left behind the fast moving object, reducing picture clarity exponentially. Ghosting occurs after your GPU has fed your monitor a newly rendered frame. To display the new frame, the monitor must change the color of its pixels in accordance to what is now being shown. If your monitor can't change the colors of pixels fast enough, it produces a ghostly trail effect that is known as ghosting. Whilst monitors come in all shapes and sizes, most fall into one of three panel technologies. The main panel technologies in modern displays are IPS, VA and TN. We uploaded a video recently on the differences between these three panels and which one is the best for gaming. So if this is something you are interested in, then definitely hit the link in the description and I'll take you to that video. Many modern monitors monitors now come with an overdrive setting that utilize a strobing feature to increase the speed at which your pixels change color. Whilst the additional response time sounds attractive, often it comes hand in hand with a screen artifact known as overshoot. Overshoot is a byproduct of the monitor's overdrive feature. It's basically the same as ghosting only with overshoot. The pixels tend to change color before the image has moved. So in this scenario, the ghostly trail that is usually behind is actually now seen in front. So the only question really left to answer is whether or not you should buy a monitor with a low response time. And honestly, that really just comes down to what you're going to be using your monitor for. If you're the kind of person that only browses the internet or watches the odd TV show, I mean, chances are a super fast response time wouldn't actually benefit you. However, if you play competitive esports or like watching an action-packed film with very fast moving objects, you should absolutely look for the fastest response time possible for your budget. The difference between a slow response time and a fast one is literally night and day. And furthermore, that the premium that a fast response time puts on your panel's cost isn't actually that much. I mean, yeah, a, a fast response will put some additional cost on your monitor, but it's one of the cheaper premiums you can add. Specifications like resolution, refresh rate, and backlight technology are much more impactful on your price. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you at all, I would love if you could leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new to our channel. If you hit this video over there, that'll take you to another one of our videos that I hope you will enjoy also. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.